Well, good morning. It is April 27th, 2023. And as we say, this is a day that the Lord hath made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. We make up our mind that we are going to worship the Lord in our hearts, no matter what's happening. We know that He is the King of kings and Lord of lords. We know that God Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, the one who sent His precious Son, Jesus, loves us. He cares for us. We are in His hands. This world may think they have us, but really, the Lord has us. Just as He has this whole world spinning just the right way so that we can live on it. And He is preparing a place for those who love Him that is going to be awesome. Just as He prepared this earth here for Adam and Eve, the Lord says He's preparing a place for His children. And He made a way of redemption through Jesus Christ. We can have the forgiveness of our sins and know that we are right with God. We know that we can call out to God Almighty. And He hears us because He loves us so much more than we can even begin to imagine. So, because of that, <laughs> you've tuned in to Matt and Randy in the morning. We're here to encourage you in the Word so that you can be strong in the faith and live victoriously in Christ. That is where true victory is found. We have an awesome, mighty God who dearly loves us. And I am purposely wearing today my National Day of Prayer shirt. Um, I am coordinator for Osceola County for National Day of Prayer. Um, Bertha Chase did it for many years and she handed the mantle down to me. So here we are. And it is coming up next week. So I covered your prayers. Pray for National Day of Prayer that there be safety at all the gatherings that are going to be throughout this nation and around the world people actually are beginning to gather to pray for the United States so pray for safety pray that God give me direction wisdom bring in the right people please encourage others to meet us from 12 to 1 whether it is at St. Cloud at the boat basin it's just from 12 to 1 even if they only come for five ten minutes um, Kissimmee City Hall, Pastor Todd Marcy and Pastor Eric Skelton from the Nazarene Church as well will be there. Uh, Pastor Dennis, I believe, is going to be there from the Haitian Church of God. Um, please invite others to join over there. Uh, Pastor Samuel Kalu, uh, Pastor Joe Aviles um, will be at the courthouse from 12 to 1 as well as other pastors are usually there we will be receiving the proclamation this year uh, from the county right then uh, Commissioner Booth will be giving us a proclamation there at the event and we'll be receiving the proclamation from St. Cloud on actually tonight <laughs> tonight I received the proclamation from St. Cloud if you want to join us 615 I have to be there because I'm also doing the invocation for the the commissioner's meeting and then at 6:30 is when the meeting starts we're getting the one from the city of Kissimmee on May 2nd so if you want to join us there at 6 o'clock is that at 5:30, foster connection is having a a meeting a, a prayer type meeting this year it's different than what it's been in the past so if you were there earlier you can come and be a part of that as well uh, with brother Rupert Henry he's always been a, a supporter of National Day of Prayer uh, he's got ministry to foster kids he's now doing ministries in other places as well so God is joining his people if you can join and gather together with us we would love to have you it is so important to show our community that as believers we are one family we have to remember that we're not just a part of the church that we attend we're part of the family of God we are believers in Christ together we are family and with that I'm going to jump into Psalms 16 1 again it's about keeping the joy in our heart 
ways to do that is being in communication with God constantly. It's, excuse me, it's knowing that He hears you. It's knowing that just like in a good marriage, a husband and wife have to talk. They have to spend time together. Whether it's driving in the car and just holding hands and just just talking. You know, walking. But just to spend some time together, it doesn't have to be a fancy place. It's just being together. Pastor Matt and I, a lot of times our dinner is just our little TV trays with the dinner that I make. And we'll maybe watch something on TV for a little bit. But we just enjoy that time together. Well, God Almighty wants to spend time with you. He wants those intimate moments, those special times. All throughout the day, thinking about it. I, I, mean, I know Matthew and I will text each other because we're both working. I love you. I miss you. Well, we should do the same thing with our Lord. We should have him in our mind and throughout the day just say, I love you, Lord. You know, if something comes on your heart, someone comes on your heart, just give that prayer up to the Lord. He wants to hear our prayers. He wants to hear our heart. Psalm 16, 11 says, You will show me the path of life. In your presence is fullness of joy at your right hand our pleasures evermore. I want you to notice that here it doesn't say he will show me the path of life. It says you will. This is a song as well as a prayer. In our life it should be the same way. When we speak, when we sing, it can be a prayer to the Lord as well as a song. Because he is the one who shows us the path of life. In his presence, there is fullness of joy. If you are a believer in Jesus Christ, and you've been born again, you know what that feels like. When you're in the presence of the Lord, there is just a peace, a joy, a calmness that words cannot express. That can only be found when you're in that right relationship with God. Psalms 119, I'm going to start in verse 105, says this. And again, remember, David is not saying he is. He is saying you are. He is saying this to the Lord. You can say the same things to the Lord. All he wants to hear is your heart. He doesn't care about a fancy prayer. Just, just talk to him. We love to hear our children talk to him. We love to have our friends talk to us. Well, God wants to hear us. It says, Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. I have sworn and I confirm that I will keep your righteous judgments. I am afflicted very much. We have those times when problems come. We've read that about yesterday. You know, we're in this world. There is going to be tribulations. There is going to be hardships. But we know we still have the Lord. It says, I am afflicted very much. Revive me, O Lord, according to your word. Again, he's calling out to God. And we can do the same thing. Accept, I pray. Here's that word. I pray. The free will offerings of my mouth, O Lord. And teach me your judgments. The free will offerings of our mouth it has nothing to do with how much money you have. It's you from your heart praising Him, thanking Him, being grateful to Him, telling Him the needs that you have. He wants to hear you. He loves you. And he says, and teach me your judgments. We have to be willing to let the Lord speak to us. Hear what He's saying to us. When we're reading his word and something convicts us, let's yield to that. And know that it's because God loves us that he's showing us that. It says, my life is continually in my hand, yet I do not forget your law. Constantly his life was in danger. But he says, yet I don't forget your law. The wicked have laid a snare for me, yet I have not strayed from your precepts. Your testimonies. The Lord's testimonies 
I have taken as a heritage forever, for they are the rejoicing of my heart. In this word, in the testimonies of the Lord, there is rejoicing for our heart. When we stay in that open communication with God, your heart has a rejoicing. Just like when you're in love with someone and your heart rejoices at the name of that person, at the sound of their voice, it's the same thing. There's a rejoicing when we have that communication with God. God rejoices for us and we rejoice for Him. It is a wonderful and awesome thing to think that the Creator of everything dearly loves you. He hears your prayers. He's waiting for your embrace. Oh, He loves you so much. He says, I have inclined my heart to perform your precepts, excuse me, your statues, forever to the very end. We have to incline our hearts toward the Lord and say, Lord, it's you I'm going to follow. And like he says here, I have inclined my heart to perform your statues forever to the very end. I wanted to read something that J.C. Ryle had written, but I'll have to read it tomorrow. Keep a praise song in your heart. Make it a prayer to the Lord. Remember, He is there hearing you. You don't need a fancy time, a separate time. It's just you and Him. He's with you always. He'll never leave you nor forsake you. So all you have to do is just shut out the world and talk to your Lord. Keep a praise song in your heart. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. We'll see you tomorrow morning at 7 a.m.